So you said that you work in an urban arena. Um, so using urban arenas, we have a mixture of cultures, a mixture of demographics, uh, socioeconomics. We have a lot of things going on. So tell us some of the things that you might do in your classroom or, or that you actually do in your classroom. You can even give us an example if you like to make your 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 environment in your classroom uh, uh, culturally responsive. So that all students of, of all cultural dynamics, you know, can excel and, and exceed in your classroom. Mm -hmm. for, well, for this question, I um, I actually use my life experiences um, to bring my students in and bring and, and allow them to appreciate everyone else's culture. Um, my cultural background, I'm both Hispanic and African American. Um, so I use that to include in my my Hispanic students. And I grew up in New York City in a very diverse community um, uh, in cultures of every area um, were in my community. So I use that a lot to draw my students in to let them know one, we can all live together. And if we can live together, we can learn together. Um, I use um, uh, Spanish authors and, and English authors, black authors, Jewish authors, anyone that can that can hone in on the cultural backgrounds of our students. And now we have other diverse groups coming in to our area and we use those. How do you use your French? How do you use your Creole? Teach us some words so we can understand one another. You know, um, it's very important for our students, for my students to know that they can feel comfortable with their culture inside of our classroom. I want to learn your language, even um, speaking English, coming from New York City and coming into York, Pennsylvania, we had terms um, that are different for different things. You know, they say out in the light. I'm saying, what are you talking about? What does that mean? So we learn from one another. And I think it's very important and we love to share language phrases um, in our classroom. How would you say this in your language? And it's important for me because our my students know that I care and I'm not trying to dismiss where they are from and what they know culturally. How does your family have dinner? What do you eat at dinner? What What is different at your Thanksgiving from my Thanksgiving? Are you willing to try one of my dishes for dinner? Those things are very important. And um, when I use those things, my students feel like, hey, she's really interested in what I want to what I want to learn or what I'm a part of, what my culture is. And I found over the past couple of years, especially um, it is important for my students to know their culture is important. And we include that in our classroom, in our setting, in our teaching. Um, I try to group students together that are of different cultural backgrounds so they can teach one another um, part of their languages and how to learn, I teach ELA, English language arts. So um, those things are important to me and, and in our classroom, I find it's very effective if they really know that you appreciate where they're from and not dismiss where they're from or their cultures or their customs. It's important in their learning atmosphere and I find that has been very successful for me.